This video is going to be how to add your Office 365 email to your phone. Very, very simple. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. So I'm going to swipe up, go all the way down to settings. I'm going to click users and accounts. When you click that, you can see I already have a few accounts on here. I'm going to click add account at the very bottom. When you click that, you're going to have many options here. You would think maybe Office would be a good idea or something like that, but actually Exchange is what you want to choose. When you click Exchange, you're going to want to type in your full email address. For this demo, I've created one called test at comtechnc.com. I can't seem to type very well today. Your password is going to be the email password that you have set up. When you type in your password there, you're going to go ahead and click Next. Now, it's going to ask you to allow the redirection so it can go and talk to the server. You have to click OK to allow this. All it's simply saying is, we see that we need to connect to this server to get your email. Is that OK? So if you go ahead and click OK, you'll see here it automatically pulled in the server as well as the port and everything that it needs. Now, I like to make a mention or a note here because some of the older phones don't automatically pull in this server address. That is the server address that you want to make sure is showing there. Some of the older phones, I have a Google Pixel, and some of the older phones try to pull like comtechnc.com. They'll pull your domain name as the server name. That will not work. You have to make sure that this server is that server address as well as your username is your full email. Sometimes some phones like to shorten it and they'll just put test up there. Or if your email is Ethan at ComTechNC, they'll just put Ethan. So make sure it's your full username or full email address, your email password, and your server is correct. If that is all correct, go ahead and click Next. On this screen, you're going to see where it's asking you to remotely control some pieces of your device. Now, this is a built-in feature for Office 365. It gives the ability the, to the administrator to remotely wipe the email or remotely wipe the device. This is for security, so if an employee leaves, that the administrator has the ability to know for a fact that that employee does not have any company info still on their phone. So you have to click OK to add the email. So go ahead and click OK. When you do this, it's going to come up in this last section and ask you to name the email. This is just for your internal reference. doesn't change the actual email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it Demo. When we click Next, we are now done. So it has been added. Let me go really fast and show you just how you access it in an Android. If you launch the Gmail or the email app, you'll see up here at the top there's two E's. There's one on the left, and you can see that's for my email address, or I can click this other E, and that takes me to the test at comtechnc.com account. 